Hitler's war machine, once unstoppable, was now in the retreat. The Allies in the West and Russia in the East were squeezing the tattered remnants of the Reich in a vice-like grip. Germany's last hope lay in their wonder weapons. The V-2 rocket, a huge leap forward in the history of military technology. It was a weapon system to herald a new form of warfare. Inhuman. Faster than the speed of sound, it struck without warning. The Nazis launched over 3,000 rockets in a desperate attempt to reverse history. It was a terror weapon. Fumbling Antwerp, Paris, and London. After the D-Day landings, their launch sites were overrun and pushed back out of range of England. But already, the Allies were looking to the future, to the next war. The Americans were gathering up the best of Germany's rocket scientists in the top-secret operation Overcast. Many of the architects of the V-2 program had already been acquired, but not all. With Berlin encircled, Germany's last-ditch defense falling back block by block and total defeat only days away, those scientists remaining in the city would soon be in Russian hands. My job was to make sure that didn't happen. Major General Hans von Eisenberg was negotiating in secret for safe passage for his team. Five of the V-2 program's top men. He was meeting his Russian handler at the Brandenburg Gate. This was my chance to take him out before he could seal the deal. I was prepared, focused, confident. Little did I know it would turn out to be the most difficult mission I'd ever undertaken. Eine Frau aus Berlin rausgekommen? Ich weiß es nicht. Nicht wesentliche Kommunikationen sind verboten. Das ist keine frechen Nachricht, oder? Keine Nachricht. Was war das? Das ist alles. Ich will nicht daran denken. Von Eisenberg was punctual and made no effort to hide his ugly face. Neither did his Russian contact. I had a clear shot. The slightest pressure on the trigger and it was good night, Major General. 
Just a question of choosing my moment. The square was well sheltered, so there was no wind to worry about. I had to aim one notch above the target to compensate for bullet drop. I controlled my breathing to steady my aim. And then... Shoot.
Heisenberg was dead. I was committed now. Both the Russians and Germans would know I was in play. Four to go.